for today's devotional. We're in Romans chapter 12, and Paul's writing to the church, and he says this, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. So he said right out of the gate um, that, that we need to not go, okay, I need to think higher of myself. Most likely we need to not think too highly of ourselves. Do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ, though many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. So Paul says we are unique. So when it comes to following Jesus, the goal is unity, but not uniformity. You and I are wired differently. God has gifted us differently, uh, but he's gifted us as a gift of his grace. So we are gifted specifically for the Bible teaches, for the good of our community, for the good of the church, and for the good of those around us. And so we are gifted on purpose, with purpose, but not to lose sight that that gifting does not come from ourselves. That gifting is a gift from God. Sometimes we can make the mistake of thinking that gifting is the same thing as maturity. Uh, you can be really gifted by God and, and really immature in how you use that gift and even how you understand that gift, which is why Paul says, okay, let's all be humble about this. All the gifts come from God. Yes, we are unique and some of us are gifted differently and some of us are more gifted in some areas than others, but that's not meant to be an area of pride or an area of, wow, look at me and look at how much better I am in, in comparison and all the things that, that come with that. He says, no, no, no. We're one body, each member's belonging to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace. Again, it was a gift. Grace means we didn't earn it. Uh, according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, meaning forth telling, not like future, I can predict the future, uh, but just speaking truth, and maybe God will even give you things that uh, you don't know how you understand it, but you understand truth in a situation, and you can speak that. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. So Paul is emphasizing, he's saying, okay, God has given us all gifts. And, and one, we don't want to use those gifts and go, wow, look at how great my gift is compared to this person and, and make it about us. He says, don't think of yourself highly than you ought to. But he also emphasizes whatever gifts God has given you, you and I have a responsibility not to squander that gift. Uh, but to, to use that gift in service of others. And so that's why he goes through the list. If it's prophesying, well, then do that. If it's, if it's mercy, then do that. If God's given you the gift of giving, which means he's given you the gift of earning and seeing needs and being generous, he says, do that. If it's teaching, then do that. Do the things, whatever God has given you as a gift, he's given it to you for a purpose. And I, I think one of the, the saddest things that can happen culturally in our church is we are just so busy with all the other things that sometimes we, we receive the, the gift that God's given us and we just keep it to ourselves. To me, that's one of the saddest things that can happen in the church because everybody in the church is a part of this bigger plan that makes up this one body. Again, unity, not uniformity. So we're all unique, we're all different, but we are to be united in, in purpose. That God has put us here on this planet that we have purpose behind our lives to use the gifts that he's given us to help people meet, know, and follow Jesus. To not go to church, but to be the church, to be an influence for good, representing Jesus, who's the head of the church. And so what we want to pause and evaluate is to ask these questions, and these are the questions for our devotional today. One, how has God gifted me? And again, this is not a prideful question. This is not a well, look at me and look at how gifted I am in this area. But it is an acknowledgement that, that the Holy Spirit does gift those who put their trust in Jesus. So how has God gifted me? How has God gifted you? And then the second question is, is really important. Why? And am I using that gift for the purpose that, that he's given it to me? So if God's gifted you with the gift of teaching, the question would be why? And, and what is it that you're doing with that? 
God has gifted you with the gift of giving. My question for you, for you to pause and ask God, okay, God, why? And, and what is it you want me to do with this gift? Because Paul emphasizes, if it's serving, then serve. If it's teaching, then teach. To encourage, then give encouragement. If it's giving, give generously. If it's to lead, lead diligently. If it's to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Do not hold on to the gift that God has given you. But put it into practice. That's what you were created for. So again, the question is, how has God gifted you? Maybe one of those things in the list that I just read, that's something you identify, you resonate with. You know that that's how God's gifted you. Maybe this is not an exhaustive list. Maybe there's other areas God has gifted you. How has God gifted you and why? What is it that God wants you to do with that gift? And let's do what Paul says. Let's do whatever that thing is and know that God is working all of those different gifts together to build his church and to glorify him. Father, for each one of us here, I pray that you would help us to know what it is that you've gifted us with. And God, that, that we wouldn't just hang on to that gift, uh, but we would share it just as we receive the gifts of others and, and how you've gifted them. And that's a benefit to us. God, would you help us to benefit others? And may we be united, not uniform, but united together. In Jesus' name, amen.